Hey Leo, it's Nicole. So we're working on your reading for January the 22nd to Fe January the 27th to February the 2nd. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What messages do we have in love for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? January the 27th to February the 2nd, 2019. What messages do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus? We're going to tap into your energy, your partner's energy, the outcome of the situation. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Guidance for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What guidance do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? January the 22nd, January the 27th to February the 2nd, 2019. January the 27th to February the 2nd, 2019. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what we have for my Leos. Nine of Cups, allowing your concerns to fade away. Maybe dealing with some true love energy. Let's see what's under here. Ooh, some of you guys have found emotional fulfillment. All right, Leo. You found something that brings you emotional fulfillment. Maybe leaving a situation, um, making a decision to go toward something new, to go toward a clean path, a, a new path here. Um, Page of Cups could be dealing with someone. You could be extending your energy out to someone new. They may be needing to see the situation from a different perspective. The person that you're dealing with may be feeling as though you're extending your energy out to a new person besides them. Capricorn energy here being at a stalemate about an ending. Being at a stalemate about something getting better. Someone's if someone's at a stalemate or someone's not seeing that things will get better within a connection. So there is a fear here. Someone's ego won't allow them to see clearly that a connection will get better. Ten of Swords is the end of the read. Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. So this is the end of a relationship, um, the end of something within a relationship. From the tens go to the ones. So someone needs to see a connection from a different perspective. Someone that you're moving into a connection with maybe or that you're extending your energy out to may need to see the connection from a different perspective, meaning they may have a jaded view of this particular relationship. So there may have been some heartache in the past. We'll see. Ten of Pentacles here could be leaving a, a situation of lack, going towards something more abundant, making a decision to go towards something more abundant, especially with the full energy right after there, taking a leap of faith. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? <laughs> My kid's holding hot uh, pop tarts in his hand. He's like, oh. should have got a, you should got a plate before you took the pop tarts out the, the dang old toaster. Go eat. What messages do we have for the Ten of Cups? I mean, the Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles right here? Why is this Ten of Pentacles? Someone also could be making a decision to. Focus on happiness after moving away from some heartache. Before I can even get it out. Capricorn energy here. Devil energy. This could also be a toxic relationship that someone is focused on healing from. Focus. <coughs> <coughs> hmm. Someone could be healing from a fire sign and a water sign, a severance from a fire sign and a water sign, making a decision to go towards something new. Someone could be hurt by a water sign moving in a new direction. Uh, maybe healing from that. Maybe healing from a fire sign moving in a new direction. Trying to extend their energy out. All right, so why is this judgment here? There's two men here. So either this is a man with two different um, energies. This could be two women here that a man is focused on healing from. Both of them bringing value in some way, shape, or form. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Capricorn. Or this is within your chart. Capricorn is here. I've seen this Capricorn card four times. Three times. One, two, three. Three times. All right. So here, someone's move. If you're dealing with Capricorn, they're gaining their boundaries and moving forward, making a decision to move forward. Um, there may be some fear of change. Someone could be guarded against change, trying to control how something changes, maybe having conflicts about a change. So there are some conflicts because someone is moving forward, making some changes here, releasing that toxicity, releasing that toxic situation. Innocence here. Why is this? Okay, some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces, Seven of Pentacles, taking a leap of faith, worried here. 
about extending love. Someone's worried about you taking a leap of faith. Someone's worried about a new opportunity here for a one. So someone may be worried that you're finding the strength to nurture yourself now in a relationship with the decisions that you're making. 10, 10. This is going to be the end of a relationship, but someone is very worried about you moving forward, Leo. Or you're worried about someone else moving forward. Page of Cups here. Needing to understand your emotions. Someone's understanding their emotions. Someone's disappointed maybe because... So this new person that you're moving toward may be disappointed. They may feel at a crossroads about what they should do. Um, they're conflicted because maybe you're not expressing yourself. They do see this as a new opportunity or someone that you're dealing... Or the person that you're leaving may be faced with a new opportunity, a new person here. King of Cups here. Why is this King of Cups here? Right, there's something changing and this is causing, again... King of Cups, Queen of Wands, King of Wands. So someone's focused on moving forward, extending their energy, feeling as though it's time to extend their energy. Someone may be focused on extending their energy to someone else to love. Someone's focused on a love situation. Could be a water sign here that you're focused on moving forward. Could be a fire sign here. It's time trying to balance someone. Someone might be extending their energy. Listen. Someone may be heartbroken here or disappointed if they find out that some person is dealing with multiple people someone may feel as though it's time for them to extend their energy toward their passion toward someone else maybe moving forward here disappointment so this may be a situation where two people are moving forward maybe new people that are being presented to this situation um, someone may be burdened may be procrastinating out of disappointment out of a kind of s someone is crying over spilled milk meaning you guys may have already have went your separate ways here maybe balancing emotions some you're focused on moving toward a relationship that is growing they're focused on moving toward someone new but the disappointment may be um the fact that there is someone new that you're extending your energy so five of cups here why is this five of cups here why is this five of cups here hmm so there's a plethora of reasons why this person is disappointed here. Um, they feel like you've resisted healing the situation, finding balance within the situation that they're in. They're confused. They felt as though you, this is unfair that you've resisted fixing a situation or balancing a situation. You may feel it's unfair, especially if this person is extending their energy out to someone else. This is either you or someone that you're dealing with that may find it unfair that you were that you walked away from whatever situation this was um, and offered someone else your emotion, offered someone else your time, your energy. Someone may be wanting you to focus on extending your energy to them. Um, they may feel as though it is not fair that you walked away. It is not fair that you're searching for someone else. So someone needs to see this situation from a different perspective. Two of Swords, they're not seeing the toxicity of the situation, meaning someone not isn't seeing why the relationship that you share with them or that you have shared with them is toxic. So you're allowing your concerns to fade away with this connection. No longer my concern. Someone's confused. They don't know why the situation didn't work. Um, Capricorn energy could be dealing with the Capricorn. You may be confused. They may be confused. Whatever the case may be, two of swords here, pretending that there's not a problem with the toxicity. But that that's coming to an end. So someone now has to face the reality um, that they were in a toxic relationship. Seven of Cups may be confused about moving forward to our balance, about healing. But there is, there is someone got to take these blindfolds off. Someone here is trapped by their own ego, trapped by their own pride, at a stalemate, not seeing anything wrong, trying to stay hopeful about working on a relationship. Ten of Swords, they need to expect that things have changed within a connection. They need to understand that things will get better for them within time. They do need to find the strength to move forward. Someone needs to find the strength, find the strength to put their pride to the side and move forward. Y'all see that? devil energy here there is a fear someone ego is allowing them is making them stay put you are no longer concerned by this either you're no look no longer concerned by this or whoever you're dealing with is no longer concerned because they're extending their energy out to someone new what messages do we have for leo sun moon rising and venus guidance for leo 
Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What messages do we have for Leo? So we got pay attention to the red flags and deception with honeymoon. So through this separation, someone does need to let go of some control issues. There may be some deception. There may be some lies being told. You do need to enjoy the time of, this is something happening around the holidays. So just be aware of that. That's all I have, y'all. Peace.